Something really strange is happening in Chernobyl okay. right now, but nobody can explain it. Back in 1986, the Chernobyl nuclear plant exploded, releasing more radiation than 400 Hiroshima bombs. That needs context. Hiroshima bomb is an instantaneous prompt radiation release. Chernobyl was a long, messy release of radiation over multiple days. Can't compare them directly like Dragon Ball power level. A more accurate metric would be Chernobyl released 5% of its core's radioactive inventory, which is still massive. Forcing over 300,000 people to flee. The ground is still so toxic that humans can only stay there for a few minutes at a time. No. Engineers, tourists, and researchers routinely stay hours in the Chernobyl exclusion zone. Only inside the reactor's ruins or the elephant's foot would minutes apply. But recently, when scientists were exploring the remains, they noticed something strange on the reactor walls. This has been observed since at least the 90s. A black, soot-like fungus slowly spreading towards the most radioactive spots. Yes, radiotropism, preferentially growing towards radiation. At first they thought it was a miracle that anything could survive that level of radiation. But the wildest part was that when they tested this fungus, it wasn't just surviving the radiation, it was feeding on it. Okay, it's not eating gamma rays like Pac-Man, but the fungus contains melanin, and ionizing radiation changes melanin's chemical state. That lets the fungus convert radiation to get a small biochemical energy boost. Similar to photosynthesis, but much weaker. So, enhanced metabolism, not radiation entree. So scientists are now seriously considering using this fungus to line spacecraft walls to protect astronauts from cosmic radiation. They briefly considered that, but fungus is slow-growing, fragile, and a nightmare for contamination control, and ultimately nowhere near as effective per kilogram as polyethylene or water.